Welcome to the Engineered Products Group presentation featuring our design proposal for the Sydney Water Small Jetta Replacement Vehicle Project. As both the original designer and current service agent for the current small Jetta vans, EPG have been able to use our experience and understanding of Sydney Water's needs to develop a practical design to transfer the existing Harbin pump set to an Isuzu NPR 400 medium truck. The primary objective of our engineering team has been to design a system that is not only safe and functional, but easy to operate and service. Nicknamed the Sewer King by the engineering team, the small Jetta replacement vehicle is a custom design system incorporating a water storage tank, truck body, canopy, shelving and control panel that have all been custom designed to suit the needs of this project. The canopy or cargo area will be 1.9 metres high providing sufficient head height clearance. The width and depth of the canopy are designed to the maximum that the regulations will allow for the NPR 400 medium truck. This will provide as much storage space and access space as possible. As an option, the canopy can be designed with a tropical roof with an extraction fan system, which will allow hot air to be extracted from the cargo area to provide a more comfortable working environment and provide extra engine cooling. Lockable roller shutters have been chosen to provide access to the rear cargo area for their simplicity and strength. There are two main shutters on the passenger side of the vehicle. Curbside access into the cargo area is achieved via a step-up rail and handrail system, providing safe access through the large roller shutter. The large roller shutter will allow access to the water tank, inlet reel and shelf storage area. We have used a custom designed tank. This is laid out to allow operators the walk around space necessary to comfortably perform service and or cleaning functions. The second smaller shutter towards the rear of the truck provides access to the acoustically rated engine and pump set, as well as providing access to the main operating control panel. In conjunction with the louvers on the opposite side of the vehicle, the required opening of this smaller roller shutter will ensure that adequate airflow is provided to the diesel engine. As an option, we can also provide a retractable awning to the working side of the vehicle, providing shelter for both service and operation personnel from the sometimes harsh Australian weather. This view of the operation side of the vehicle shows the complete canopy design and highlights the fixed awning over the hose reel at the rear of the vehicle. The jetting hose reel is mounted outside the canopy to allow it to feed the hose in a 180 degree arc. The fixed awning will therefore provide protection to the equipment, operators and service personnel. The custom designed 1000 litre transporter style water storage tank maximises the available space and incorporates a site level gauge. It has been designed to a height to allow operators to easily access the lid for cleaning purposes. To further aid the cleaning process and assist in keeping the water delivery filters clean, the tank floor will be sloped away from the pump supply line and towards the drain line. Internal baffles minimise water movement during transport. The water storage tank will be mounted on a frame to achieve two goals. One, it raises the discharge height to ensure that a positive feed is supplied to the Harbin high pressure pump at all times. Two, it provides extra storage under the tank. This will suit storage of longer items as the space extends to the far side of the truck. An underbody storage compartment will also be provided at the cabin end of the truck. All underbody storage compartments will be designed to ensure that the truck ground clearance is not compromised. 
The electrically powered water inlet reel will be located in a convenient position to facilitate easy operation. Storage for A-frames, bollards and stand pipes will be provided as an integral part of the inlet reel support frame structure. Water will be supplied to the storage tank via the inlet reel but will first pass through a filter to ensure that the water is free from impurities. The tank inlet filter will be positioned under the body in a location which makes cleaning of the filter element easy. The Harbin high pressure pump feed will pass through a secondary filter located adjacent to the tank inlet filter. It will also be located in position to ensure that the element can be easily cleaned. Step up rails and a hand grab rail is provided next to the inlet reel. Adequate space has been allowed between the inlet reel, engine and pump set to allow access behind the hose reel. This is where an integrated four-level shelving system will be provided to further add to available storage capacity. The diesel engine driven Harbin high pressure pump set will be located in a convenient position allowing for the removal of the acoustic canopy and adequate space for servicing the unit. The main control panel will be located at the rear of the vehicle and adjacent to the main jetting hose reel for ease of operation. By incorporating a common roller shutter for the control panel and engine and pump set, airflow around the engine will be maximised during jetter operation. The main jetting hose reel will be provided on a swivel base. It will incorporate a level layer rewind system and an integrated electronic hose counter system which will enable the operators to determine the distance from the manhole to the blockage in the sewer line. Being mounted outside of the canopy at the rear of the truck will ensure that the reel can swivel and operate in a 180 degree arc without obstruction. The hose reel will be hydraulically driven and have the capacity to store at least 120 metres of half inch sewer jetting hose. Step up access at the rear of the vehicle is achieved with a dual purpose rear bumper and step up bar with a handrail fitted for safety purposes. A full width rear roller shutter allows for access to wash up facilities as well as providing clear access to the pump and engine set for service and maintenance purposes. Pull out drawer storage areas on either side of the step up bars will be provided with dedicated drawers for waste, tools and jetting accessory storage. An intermediate step up bar is provided in the centre of the rear of the vehicle to give easier access to the rear of the canopy and allow for the fitting of a removal tow bar. The driver's side of the canopy will be provided with louvers near the diesel engine to ensure that the engine radiator fan forces hot air out of the canopy. A small roller shutter is provided near the water storage tank of this side of the vehicle for service purposes only. The canopy has now been removed to highlight the internal shelving and wash up facilities. Two sets of four levels of shelving are provided inside the canopy with access to this area from the passenger or curb side of the vehicle. Wash up facilities including soap dispenser, paper towel dispenser and wash basin with integrated water supply are also provided and are secured to this side of the canopy. For operator safety there are no controls or general access points on this side of the vehicle. Thank you for your attention during this presentation. We hope that it has given you a better understanding of the proposed design for the new sewer jetting system. As a proudly Australian-owned and managed national company, EPG strives to offer outstanding service and innovative design. 
This experience and the outline design principles have driven the development of what we believe is the most cost-effective and functional sewer jetting system possible with available equipment. We've done this while maximising the available space to deliver the highest level of convenience and safety.